Cox is in Ogden with the Bengals to see if ISU could advance to the tournament's championship round. Is the Idaho State softball team peaking at just the right time? Earlier this week, I spoke with head coach Candy Letts, and she told me that the thing she likes the most about her team is how consistent they've played all season long and how they haven't hit a high or low yet. Now, they certainly have momentum coming into the Big Sky Conference tournament. They came in riding a four game win streak, and yesterday they swept their competition, beating Portland State and Sacramento State in dominating fashion. Now, could they keep that up today against the number one seed Weaver? State, a team that took the series from the Bengals two to one earlier this season. Coach Lutz likes her team to be loose and they're loops. It was a Spice Girls song, if some of you were wondering. To the game, though, top of the first, Sophie Slagle is struggling. After an illegal pitch and a walked batter, that brings up Sarah Hingsberger and she goes Yahtzee with it. A three run home run to give the Wildcats a three nothing lead. To the top of the third, same score runner on board, and it's much of the same. This time it's Aubrey Whitmer that homers to center field. That would end Slagle's day, and Weaver State jumps out to a 5 0 lead. Weaver State's defense, in particular, their pitching was outstanding today. Kirtland Bowling was in the circle for Weaver, and she didn't allow a hit until finally Caitlin Marquez was able to hit a double with one out in the fourth inning. The Wildcats, though, would add one more run in the fifth to make it 6 0, but in the top, of the seventh. Check out the heads up play by Maddie Hickman on the suicide squeeze. She scoops up the ball with her mitt and tosses it home to Dara Kuller so she can apply the tag. But the Bengals went on to lose the game 6 0. Earlier, I mentioned how Coach Letts likes her teams to play loose and relaxed. I asked her if they were too loose against Weber State today. She didn't think so. They've, they've had been the uptight team before and then they've played relaxed. Especially all day yesterday. So I don't think that was the point. I just think that they needed to focus on finishing instead of assuming they're going to hit. They need to really focus in and, and take advantage of Coming into today, Idaho State's offense has dominated teams. The Bengals put up 12 runs against number six Portland State and 11 runs against Sacramento State, who is the two seed. But ISU only mustered up two hits today and got away from their game plan. We didn't attack and we didn't stay on our, our hitting. Side of the plate, we didn't sit on the pitch in the location that that we've been working on. And she pitched a really good game, and it just kept looked like she just kept moving levels up and down and off the plate, and made us you know chase things that we normally wouldn't chase. Um, and they got out early. They they hit a pitch and got on us early. And I think we just sort of we tried to fight back through it, but we just obviously didn't do as good as we could have. Idaho State used three pitchers in today's loss. Sovi Slagle started out the game and went two innings, giving up five runs on four hits, walking two and striking out one before giving way to Ashlyn Ains. She pitched 3.2 innings, scattering five hits, and giving up one run, striking out three and walking one. I think Sophie missed a couple pitches and, and stuff, and then I decided to make the changes not to get let the game get too out of hand. But offensively, we really didn't help ourselves, and so we couldn't really get that ball going. She did the first time against us, but you know that happens sometimes. And Weaver's a good team, and they're going to make their adjustments with our pitching staff as well. The Bengals will have to win three games tomorrow in order to win the Big Sky Conference Championship. We're reporting from Ogden for Sportsline. I'm Julia Cox. All right, thank you for all of that, Julia. Looking at the early games, Montana beats Portland State 14 to eight in an elimination matchup, and Sacramento State sends Southern Utah packing with a 17 to nothing final. So those two teams faced each other, and in the nightcap, it was Sacramento State routing Montana 10 to four. Now ISU will play Sac State tomorrow. ISU has defeated Sac State three of four times this season. Idaho State junior guard Ethan Tell.